can't have you going out of the front door, Inertia. I'm Zach George. I train dogs, and this is my new dog, Inertia. I'm taking you along as I train her from day one. You can start from the beginning or pick up anywhere and start learning. Welcome to the dog training experience. Today, Inertia will start learning one of the most important skills of all, staying in front of an open door that leads outside, and she'll continue to learn about interacting more appropriately with other dogs. I've got lots of training to do with Inertia, and some of her toys are getting worn out. I'm so glad I have a new Pup Box. What makes Pup Box special is that they send you age-specific items based on your dog's age at that time to help you train them. So you'll see, they send a training guide to you every month. Talk about a tough tug toy. The material they make these toys out of is really good. Like to see you rip that apart. That's a dragon. <laughs> Toys can be a great way to reward your dog. This is a bone made with real bacon. So super tough to chew and also flavorful. When you have a puppy, you have to socialize them and making sure you have water on the go is super important. Always use quality dog treats when you're training, something your dog really likes. Let's see what Inertia thinks of these real quick. Sit. Yes, those are a hit. Here's a nice natural chew toy for variety, a cow hoof. So if you've got a new pup, get a pup box. Go to pupbox.com slash Zach, enter discount code Zach, and you'll get 50% off of your first pup box when you sign up for a three, six, or 12 month subscription. You can see with all this energy that inertia has, it's gonna be really important to polish a game of fetch with her by really having her do it well so that I can easily get her energy out when I can't tend to her. But it's not reasonable to just expect your dog to be calm and be good without exercising them, at least if they have as much energy as inertia does. Hey, what's up? What's this? Go get it. Fetch has been slow going with her though. She still does not know a great game of fetch. See how she takes the toy and runs around with it? I'm trying to work with her on bringing the toy back directly. And we've had some moments of success, then other moments she's like, I'm all over the place. There, I'm gonna go ahead and play some tug with her since she came in my vicinity. Good job, all right? Let go, let go has been great. Love that, get it. Yeah, good job. But see, if I go to take it, let's see what she does. Okay, and she's actually pretty good if I go to take it, but I still would like to encourage her to come to me. One of the things that I think is gonna help with fetch is if I throw it like that, and I'm right here in her face to run. I'm gonna stay close to her and get her in the habit of following me. Yes, good job, let go. Good, and when I have a success, I'm gonna immediately go into another one. Excellent job, good girl, let go. See the difference when I'm close to her? She's like, okay, I'll follow you. Good girl, but if I do that, and then say, Ursha, come on, girl. See how she veers off over here? Although that wasn't too bad. Since that habit of her running around with the toy is super predictable, I'm looking for ways to preempt that. So in this case, being close to her, encouraging her to follow me is very effective. Get it. So as she continues to improve indoors, I'll gradually start moving this outdoors, but she gets way too distracted outside. Remember that it's important to get new skills reliable in an easy environment first. In general, outside is one of the toughest environments to get a dog listening. Get it. While Inertia is starting to do better at fetch inside, she's still struggling outside, which is to be expected. So later on, we decided to practice her fetch in an outdoor environment. Specifically, I'm really working on trying to teach her to bring back the toy. The method that's most effective with her so far is getting her to chase me after she's picked up the toy. So I'm gonna use that approach for a while. Plus, it's keeping me in shape too. Still lots of work to do on fetch, but I'm really encouraged that she's chasing me a lot more with a toy in her mouth. The fact that I can get her even a little bit into it in this outdoor environment remains encouraging. This is also a wonderful opportunity to work with her in a brand new environment that she's never been in. Maybe come when called, that would be nice. I've got a pretty fenced area, I've got her on lead, I've got kids in the background that are distracting. I have a feeling that if I just call her right now, she's probably not gonna come to me. Inertia, come. Oh, hey, I was wrong, good job. And I'm prepared to give her a great reward for coming to me in this new environment. Oh, I love that, that was great. You can definitely see her attention is not fully on me and that's understandable. Just be patient, let those moments pass. That's kind of how it is when you're getting traction on training with a dog. They pay attention to you sometimes before they pay attention to you all the time. And especially in a new place that she's never been like this particular ball field. Time to go to puppy class and give Inertia some socialization with other dogs. You want some water? This is fantastic for dog training class too, because you always need to have water and this is super convenient. Class starts off with a quick round of play so that the dogs can get some fun in and satisfy their curiosity. Then it's time to do some light training. Gonna work on stay and reinforce calmness around all these people and dogs. Come here, can you sit? Having a tough time getting her attention right now. She's so distracted. Yes, down, 
So where attention is in and out, that's just typical in this setting. A lot of excitement going on all around her. So the fact that she's even giving me an intermittent relax and stay basically is wonderful. Here I'm gonna to try to use access to the other dogs as the ultimate reward. While food and play are fantastic rewards, so too is access to a particular environment like other happy puppies. So we'll let her go and explore. Here she is hanging out with her best friend, Ruthie. But she's been playing with other dogs, but she loves playing with Ruthie. You're being nippy, a little overbearing, so I just intervene, break up play for a minute, let her resume. Puppies don't intuitively know how to play appropriately, which is why early exposure like this is helpful. When inertia becomes a bit too bitey, I just give her a quick break and let her settle down for a second. Okay, okay. hey, that's enough, that's enough. I know, I know. We'll give them a break there. Okay, back to training. Inertia? Leave it. That was a treat on the ground that wasn't ours that she started to go for, and I thought, hey, why not? Let me go and try and enforce leave it there. See this? Leave it. Okay, come here. This way. Come on. Yes, getting exciting trying to get her attention off of that and onto me. That's where the reward comes from. Leave it is much more than just leaving a treat alone. It's about showing your dog how to resist tempting things. Pretty good, right? So we're working on weight at doorways in class. This is so important. We have a cat that's a distraction over here. Let me see if I can get her attention off the cat. This is gonna be tough. You want this? Yes! Can I have a sit? Oh, nice. Good. What's that? Oh, it's a door, see that? Teaching a dog to stay is important. Teaching them to stay at an open door is extra important. Yes! See, I'm just gonna open it just a little bit and then I'm gonna reward. Up, uh, and right there, I'm gonna close the door, limiting access to the environment where she wants to go. No need to pull back or provide a harsh correction here. She wants to go outside, so I'll show her that there is a strict protocol before passing through an open door leading to the outdoors. Wait, whoops, see, she flinched. Yes, good. Okay, good. And so, right there, we'll let her go through only with permission. So, hey, not bad. Looking good. Opening up real vigorously there. Yes, she's starting to get it. Now, let me, let me throw a curveball here. Inertia. Hey, come on. Okay, let's go. Never mind. Sit. Wait. So, right there, changing my mind halfway through. I don't know, maybe I saw a car. As your dog begins to grasp a new concept, start varying things up a little bit to keep them sharp. This is a good time to remind you that both of my books together can really sum up the training process and give you a quick guide to training your dog. And my brand new book has a perfect five star rating on Amazon. I'll have a link below where you can pick it up. Now, let's practice this skill in her home environment. Inertia is not used to going out of this door at all, and I think it's important to make stay at doorways an early priority when you're teaching a dog. What's so great about teaching stay at doorways is that you can merge two environments. You have the indoor easier environment and you're starting to introduce that outdoor environment and let it seep into your indoor training session, you see? So this is one of the real valuable things about training stay at doorways. I know you saw a little bit of this from our class, but I think it's really time to start implementing it in real life. See, even though she was doing well in class with staying at a doorway, she has not generalized this skill broadly yet. For example, if I say stay and I open the doorway right now, look what she does. She just walks right out. And that's no good. If there's something exciting going on or she sees something across the street and wants to run out of the door, that could potentially be a life-threatening situation. So I and many of you need to get this under control. Let's get her warmed up with a basic Sit, yes. Now, if your dog wasn't sitting in this situation, they're not ready for this exercise. Okay, I'm gonna let her know the sit was over. So in this case, you know, sit basically means hold that position until I say get up. But there's no harm in also saying stay if you've been working on stay. There are pup box treats everywhere. Leave it alone, leave it. Let's see that real life leave it in action here. Uh -uh. Leave it alone. That's one of the many reasons we emphasize leave it so much. There are accidents that happen in their surroundings all the time. And this is a pretty harmless one if she were to get the treats, but could be something more dangerous in the future. First of all, safety first. I've got her on leash and harness right here. So there is not a chance that she's gonna get away from me. I'm gonna be very vigilant, but ideally from this point forward, she doesn't go out of this door without permission. Check out the first step right here. Look at this. Just move the doorknob. Now let's move on. 
Okay, I'm gonna let her come up from the sit there. If she wants, she doesn't have to. I'm just letting her know that it's over there. Notice how I'm on the ground too, to really keep her focused on me. The closer you are, the better when you're training something new to your dog. Oh, and right there, see I'm closing the door. If she at all indicates that she might want to investigate going out of that door, I'm right there to close it. And she ought to be putting it together by now that, oh wow, when I don't move, I get these great treats when that door opens. So that's step one. Make sure your dog can hold a basic easy sit stay while you're on the ground with them and you kind of open it and get them in the mood to train. You know, the problem with this comes when you're surprised, but this plants the seed and we'll cover more of that in the future, I'm sure. All right, so next step. This is where we start putting things together. All right, give me a sit, please. Yes, good. And how about, let's get that leave it warmed up. Leave it, look at me. Yes, good job. And that's looking wonderful there. I'm able to get her attention on me in the face of a minor distraction. Now, watch this, sit. Hold on to that leash. Leave it. Uh, 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 hey, 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 excuse you. I didn't say okay. So right there, got her on a leash. She can't go out of the front door, so I'm just gonna hold it right here. I'm not pulling on her, but I'm keeping her from going out there. Gonna redirect her attention here. What's this? Come here. Yes, over here. Sit, yes. Wait, leave it alone. Yeah, that was good. Leave it. Look at me, and I'm insisting on that look at me at this point in her training, just so I can yeah. teach her what yes. I want her to do. Good job. So right now, she's doing so well. Let's make it a bit more challenging for her. So she loves her dragon toy from her pup box, as you saw earlier. So let's, let's get her warmed up. Oh boy, this is gonna be tougher here. But the whole point is we want to introduce distractions so that we don't wait for organic distractions to emerge and then hope our dog just listens, cause they won't. <laughs> ah, oh boy. Let's try a sit. Yes, good. Sit. <laughs> Leave it. Look at me. Yes. Good. Leave it. <laughs> Look at me. Good. Yes, good for Now let's see if we can throw this out of the front door. Cool, sit. And, oh, closing the door. No need to pull your dog back here. Really teach them to think. Sit, perfect. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and reward for that restraint right there. Leave it. Look at me. What's this? What's this? Look at me, yes! Okay, good job. I'm gonna give her a jackpot reward there. Give her a few treats to let her know I love that. Leave it. Good, look at me. Having trouble getting her attention, let's see. What's this? Yes work. Took a step back there, put the treat in front of her, held it up to my eyes. Do what you have to do here. It's so important that you get their attention rather than insisting on a perfect look at me or a perfect down. Protocol moving forward is to insist that she hold a stay every single time this door opens in a perfect world. And that's what my goal will be. And perhaps in the future, I will try to make it more distracting and really, really ingrain in her that she is not supposed to go out of this front door at all without permission. Raising a dog isn't just about making them respond to requests, but we also need to provide them with fun recreation. So far, Inertia and Indy are really enjoying one another. We're gonna let Indy and Inertia play inside the house, see how they do. We've been doing this in short bursts, and so far it's been going pretty well. Indy is increasingly more and more comfortable with Inertia, though she still has to set Inertia straight sometimes and tell her to chill out a bit. Indy's body language and Inertia's body language have really lightened up quite a bit. You can see they are mutually accepting there. And very often you'll notice too, when inertia gets rough, she'll plop on her back as if to say, I know that was a little rough, but I didn't mean anything by it. Let's see, yeah, there was those ones. <laughs> Get on your back, she says. And inertia's like, okay, sorry. Okay, so we're seeing a number of dog-to-dog -dog corrections here from Indy. These are measured and extremely healthy. This is how a well-adjusted older dog can essentially teach a younger dog proper manners when playing. And in case you need a good example of what a responsible chill out and don't play that rough bark looks like, there it is. And Inertia took her cue well. In the interest of training in public, we're gonna go to our local building supply store to show Inertia some fun new things. Oh, here's an opportunity. We encountered a really loud saw that threw Inertia off at first. Sometimes you just need to let your dog check things out. 
In general, when you're in a new place like this, especially at first, don't put a strong emphasis on teaching your dog to listen to you just yet. Just let them get comfortable with everything. Let's go to another part of the store for some new exciting sights, smells, and sounds. Oh no, not right now. We're just giving her some social experiences yeah. at Home Depot. Whenever you go to a new place like this, it's common for people to want to pet a cute puppy. And it's also very healthy for inertia to meet lots of new people. We're gonna go check out the garden section now. I look at her, she's like, whoa, what's going on here? This feels different, something smells different. She's skeptical, but she's gonna go smell it. Oh, is it manure? Of course. <laughs> I bet that does have a smell to it. I've been letting her hang around these plants in this area over here for a few minutes to just adjust. I'm gonna see if she'll take a treat. We've been here for several minutes now, maybe a half hour, and I think we can try some basic training with her. Leave it. So I'm getting her warmed up with Leave It with a hot dog before I ask her to leave something in real life alone. I like how she's leaving these plants alone over here. Let me see, let's walk down over here and see if she tries to grab a plant. Leave it alone. Good, smelling is fine, biting is not. Nice job, Inertia. Inertia has become increasingly more anxious in recent days. Keep in mind, many puppies like to bark and that this is a natural behavior. It's also normal for them to become anxious when we are away from them too. Barking is getting a little crazy, so this is a sign of some separation anxiety that's starting to develop, or just anxiety in general. <coughs> Inertia wanting to be near me when I go out. This is normal for puppies. I mean, they love being near us. I wanna walk her through this process here. I wanna be able to open the door without her barking. My goal is to be able to walk out and have her be quiet. And of course, we'll build on this over time. Opening this. See, it's right when I open the door. We can identify that as the trigger. Yes, good. Right there, what was it, like a half a second of silence? Nice job. Really spending some time around the thing that's triggering her to bark right here. Now here, let me see what happens when I go over the threshold. Yes, good work, very good. Now I wanna be clear, this is no magic answer to solving this type of anxiety. This is just working her through how to behave in short bursts. This would require a lot of repetition over time. Oh, look at that, I got the door shut and everything. That's exciting. All right, good job, honey. That was real good, I'm gonna give her an extra big reward there. And stay out of sight, and this is gonna be risky. Let me go five seconds out of sight. That's about five seconds. Yes, good job. See how she went to go look for me? Good work. Let me see if I can make it all the way out to the studio now. Wonder if this is pushing it too much. Now I'm gonna hustle back, give her a reward, because I don't think she barked. Did she bark? No, she whined. Oh, she did whine a little bit? Okay. All right, so that's an improvement, so I'll go ahead and reward her. You're doing very good. So I'll continue to work on this over the next probably weeks to months with a puppy. They have so much energy and want to do so much all the time. Good work. But I think we'll work on some settle training out here in the general area. But first I'm gonna wait for her to relax on her own and then I'll let her out when she's in a relaxed state of mind. Yeah, she's looking a bit more relaxed, so I'll go ahead and let her out right now. Inertia is catching on to her training and doing really well. To make your training easier, sign up for a pup box and get 50% off when you sign up for a three, six, or 12 month subscription. I'll have a link below. I'm on Instagram and TikTok now. Follow me, I'll have links below. Subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know the instant a new episode comes out. Next time, Inertia is going to get some more socialization, learn some new tricks and more.